Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT for video scripts. Yes, you can use this to create YouTube scripts. It's a pretty simple process and allow me to walk you through it right now. So first and foremost, the prompt that I have is going to be create an outline for a video title and I put four tips for improving your golf game. I love talking about golf. I live in Florida, so that's just going to be for this example. Pretty much what you're going to need in the beginning is a video title, which is pretty easy to come up with, especially if you know your topic. Once you have that, use this outline right here and then add in the title. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we pretty much have the outline for this video script. All we need to do is have it write paragraphs for each specific section. So I'll probably do it for like one or two sections because once I do one or two of them, you're going to know exactly what we need to do. So first we have the introduction. What we want to do, I'm just going to copy this title. I'm going to write. All right, so we put write an introduction paragraph for a video called and we put our title there. Let's see what we get. All right, perfect. So what I'm going to do is just copy this and I'm going to paste it right here. So that's our introduction. Cool. Let's go to the next spot. So we have our introduction and then we have tip number one is practicing regularly. So keep in mind, these little extras are going to be things that you can talk about in it. So if you want to like talk about the importance of setting goals for golf and practice sessions, you can put it in there. But let's word this in a way so chat GPT knows exactly what we want. So what I'm going to do is write a few all right, so I put write a few paragraphs about why it's important to practice golf regularly, as well as suggestions for different types of golf practice. So I put hitting balls, putting, and chipping. So I utilize this one here. Like I said, you can add these in there if you want. So that's up to you, but let's do that and see what we get. All right, we got a lot of great content here. And if you look at it, it went over exactly what we talked about in terms of the different types of practice. It talks about how it's crucial. Keep in mind, this is a video script. So we'll probably be like tip number one. You can just add that in if you want, but it talks about hitting balls here, uh, practicing other aspects of the game, like putting, uh, working on your short game, wedge shots, and so on and so forth. This is great. I'm going to copy this. Uh, and if you ever copy this and put it into like a Google Doc, you want to make sure you paste it, say, into like a notepad first. Otherwise, you get this huge background on it and it looks pretty bad. But cool. So we are just pretty much going down the list. We would do the same thing for getting a pro and then using the right equipment. So how you would probably prompt this in. So I would say write a few paragraphs about why it's so important to get lessons from a pro golfer, as well as tips for finding a good instructor. And if you want to add these in there, you can as well. But what I want to do is just go to a conclusion. So let's write our conclusion and then we'll go from there. All right, so we have our conclusion paragraph. What I put is write a conclusion paragraph for four tips for improving your golf game. That even stated the four golf tips being practice regularly, getting lessons from a pro, using the right equipment, as well as working on your mental game. I put that there because sometimes you could say like, we have our four tips for improving your golf game. If we just had that, it could just, you know, randomly give us some different tips. So I want to make sure that they are accurate. Let's hit enter here. Oh no, we have too many requests in one hour. Apparently I've been doing too much content and I have to give it a little break. That's fine. But overall, that's what you would do for that. You know, we would get our conclusion paragraph and then obviously you can paste that in there. So just kind of going over this, just to show you how it works, I'll probably have to do, uh, next time I do any type of longer blog article or video script, I'll give it some time so I don't use too much of it too quickly. We're pretty much getting our, after we know our title, we're creating an outline, of course, and then what we're doing is we're writing paragraphs for each section. So we want to write some paragraphs, maybe one or two for the introduction. Then we want to write a paragraph for each of these sections. And if we want to include any of these, we make sure we put them in there as we saw. And of course, you're just going through paragraphs for this, for this, for this, for this. And then of course, writing a conclusion. Of course, if I hadn't done too many requests, uh, then I'd be able to do that. But I still think you get the idea. Once you go through one of the sections, you're going to know how to do it. And if I missed anything or anything doesn't make sense, feel free to leave a comment down below and I should be able to help you out. Either way, I hope you got some value out of this when it comes to using ChatGPT for video scripts or YouTube scripts or just any type of video scripts in general. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.